This is the YouTube Snapple Show on America's Got Talent, and we've come outside the theater for our next act. He's a musician, and this is his instrument. It's called a carillon, and it weighs four tons. From St. Peter's, Pennsylvania, here is Cast in Bronze. I am the spirit of the bells. My act is called Cast in Bronze. It was 21 years ago when I was in a bell tower when a stranger walked up the tower and he bestowed upon me a musical instrument that no one knows exists. And Cast in Bronze began. The carillon has probably been the best kept musical secret in over 500 years. Well, I wear the mask because I relinquished my identity to this instrument. Now I'm just the spirit of the bells. At first I thought it was ridiculous and then I started doing my comments with a mask on. And it's, I just feel like even these comments are much more mysterious than they would be if I wasn't wearing this. Weird, I don't know what's under that mask. And, and quite frankly, I never want to know what's under that mask. I did not choose the carillon. The carillon chose me. We're one. The sound of the carillon is magic. After hearing the carillon tonight, I don't think America or the music world will ever be the same. and then we're gonna find out what the judges thought when we return with more America's Got Talent. Welcome back to the YouTube Snapple Show on America's Got Talent. Before the break, we saw the spirit of the Bells playing his carillon outside, and he got three X's from the judges. So let's see what you guys really thought about the cast of bronze. Sharon, we'll start with you. Well, I can't decide whether I was in a department store at Christmas or I was watching an old rerun of Quasimodo, the bells, the bells, you know. I'm, I'm very confused by you. Howie. Yeah, I, just, I was trying to think of what the process was that you went through. You, one day you said, I'm going to um, put on a mask and play giant bells. I just, I, you know, maybe it's a good Broadway show. I don't know if it's right for here, like Phantom of the Dinglings, like, <laughs> which would be... But I don't understand the whole, how, how long has he been doing, does he speak? He does yes. speak. Yeah. How long have you been doing this? 21 years. 21 years. Have I seen this someplace before? I doubt it. <laughs> no, something, something rings a bell. Ah. Howard. 
You know, if hell had a musician, you would be it. <laughs> you know, this is America's Got Talent. You're in front of millions of people. Let's get a good costume going. Even that bird or something. What is that, a bird on your head? It looks like my nose, at least. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I don't know what to make of this. It's not entertainment for me. I mean, the bells, I had a headache out there. Thank God Sharon had aspirin. She gave it to me. I, I, you know, maybe with a rock band or something, this would work. But you on your own just playing this over and over again, it's very difficult to take. So I don't know where you're at. Uh, the costuming is a, is a D minus. Uh, the instrument to me is not a pleasant sounding instrument, nor is it something commercial. I would never go to see a show of this. So it's a, it was a tough night for you. But guess what? It's a tough night for everyone, evidently. <laughs> well, all right. Well, the judges are having a little fun. Uh, but... You take this quite seriously. I mean, your instrument oh, yeah. weighs four tons, which is like roughly 8,000 pounds, right. and you, you travel around with this, and this is what you do, correct? It's what I do. All right, so um, your day job, you fight crime or anything like that? No, no. <laughs> Bro, hey, we want to see if you can make it through. If you want to vote for Cast and Bronze, call 1-866-60-AGT-11. That's 1-866-60-248-11. Cheer up, smile. You can also head on over to NBC.com.